Yeah, it'll tell you where you're dating me. What's that all about? Bit of a YouTube. Oh, is it? Oh, we're yeah, doing you know. YouTube, Ben. Whoops. Have you got a method state with a risk assessment for them buttons? No, we're not doing none of that. <laughs> <laughs> camera out here, Ray, and I'm going to break my camera at this rate. Yeah, you're going to get so good, pal. I'll ask him to on holiday, don't get it on YouTube. Oh, <laughs> Is that the easiest to walk down, Alan? No, mate. Come on, mate. Yes, Bandingo. Get yourself in the sun. Just grab that and I can go back and get that other. Cheeky bastard, make yourself in the sun. I'm hoping you'll eat some good stay like. Oh, don't you worry, we're going to be spinning them today. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. Episode 8, we're getting right into it. We've already got dirty already. We're back at the glass house. You haven't seen this place since episode 1. We're back here today to build a retaining wall. We're setting out the steps for the garden. This is going to be a garden like you've never seen before in your life. We're going to get some kitchen floor tiles for my house. We're going to go drop them there, then have a look at what's been done. I'm going to talk you through some boring behind the scenes stuff of how the house works as a deal. And then hopefully we're going to get some nice food because I am done on 75 hard. I've completed it, I did it, uh, day 75 will last Saturday, I've kind of stayed on track with my diet and whatnot, but I have had a couple of little treats since then, today we're going to see what we can find. Stick with us, it's going to be another good one, episode 8, let's get into it. That is supposed to run sequentially down. Similarly with that, that follows down there. That goes all the way across. We don't run that one down there. That is a, a dead ha ha. But this one's going all the way down, yeah? For it, to be honest. It is what, a ha ha. ha, -ha. Yeah. But this is going all the way across, yeah? This one goes all the way across. So you can do a long run down there and a long run down there. Now it's got cut back. John's put these pins in and levels uh, and lining correctly. I'm going to check your levels across and give you a tape measure, a tape on, so you can aim at. Yeah? Obviously you can see the garden steps down every so often and it's on a bit of a, a bit of a slope and nil down into the road so we need to cut these down to allow any water that comes trickling down this back garden can go through there, through there and out of the other side like we've done there. It comes through there like so. Catches any water that comes down and out it goes. All the way down. And out cause the stream out into the road. <laughs> This rain don't do right much for our air, does it? Nah, mate. <laughs> don't be getting on a that. <laughs> do not. <laughs> That's strict circumstances, that chick. That's why I don't like going swimming no more. <laughs> just a liberty. <laughs> so I'm just going to get a course here, belly flat. Going to get a bit of a corner up. Got my tape there, that's my finish height. It works a belly flat course and then I think it's two course upright, so I'm just going to get this set out now, get a corner built. My mate Cole's going to do the same over there. And we're going to lang it in. Nice. Saturday morning, in rain, building walls. Saturday morning, in the rain, but we don't care because it's only block work, so we can still get it done. That's the spirit, my friend. That's the spirit. Let me write yourself conscious now, I'm going to have to get booked in for a transplant art. <laughs> Do it, episode 10 we've got to take it. Episode 10, episode 10, we are in Turkey. <laughs> it's got warm on it. Yeah, right really. up. Warm on you doing a bit. I fucking love this shit, mate. <sighs> Come on. 
Cro where were you been? Croatia, 24 hours ago. Yep. Blazing sunshine. Nice one. Nice food, nice drinks. Saturday morning, come back to Britain. Pissing down rain. Hanging about with some rough ass bricklayers from Seacroft. At least I've got a tan. At least you've got a tan and some hair. Got a right tan. You have got a sick tan to be fair. It looks like you've got black eyes again though. I know, it's you're fucking 7am lad. <laughs> so if I do 575, add 110. That's 685. Yeah, add that I do 575 and what? Here, if we take these off, we'll get three full blocks. Or if we do two course of belly flat, and then two course upright. Tell them we do two course belly flat. Belly flat block walls. Absolutely eat through cement. Eat through cement? Well, not eat through gobble, obviously. We're mixing today, we don't get ready spread gear here. Why they, why did it eat so much cement? Um, because technically, yeah, putting twice as much cobble on, so if you just... Oh, because they're twice as wide? Yeah, exactly, mate. So instead of just building a wall upright and putting one, sp one spread, you're building it flat, putting two spreads so that the blocks... Um, it spreads the gobble out evenly for the next course of blocks to sit on. Yeah. So we're going to be effectively using twice as much cobble as we intended, which means we're going to need twice as much cement. So <laughs> Might be a little trip to Builders Merchants for us on his way to Bathroom Depot, my lad. And then in front of here, we're going to have a skin of brickwork to make it look pretty and match the gaff. It's all these block walls that you can see in these back, this back garden are all going to be backed up at the face of them by a skin of brickwork. That's going to look absolutely mint. I would like to do them. I don't know if he's having us to do them because I know that he's got... Um, it were included in the package of the lads who built this house, but they're extremely, extremely busy right now. So he's got us to just wang these retaining walls in. Um, and he said if they're still, if they're free when it's time for them to do it, because it would already include in their original package, they'll be coming back to do it. But if not, we might get it. So keep his fingers crossed, it'll be cool to finish this garden off. What's that? That me here. Might as well just own it. Oh, just shave, my man, you're right. shave it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the rain ain't fucking helping. You've not done money favours, has it? I'm saying, mate, when I get in. Yeah, but bro, you're like, what, 32, 33? <laughs> fucking 30. Why are you 30? Has it dried? Yeah. Get in. Yeah, you look good, I can, man. I can, I can bend down again now. <laughs> I'm trying to stop right like that. You want bend? <laughs> It's even the reseed though, even that's coming now. <laughs> the reseed. Yeah, just fucking <laughs> falling, falling to bits. But the beard, like the beard's pretty strong. Mate, I got, I use hair regrowth stuff, man. I it's think I've a bit of dye on my beard. You all right? What do you mean? Well, I was beard thing. Yeah. <laughs> Cole, are you all right to finish? I need to go get some cement. What have you used so far? Three. Three. Oh, they need to get out this of here. The bottom of it. I'll go get five pads. Come on. Getting bags in, yeah? Yeah, bags in there for that, innit? So we've been at Johnny's there, we've ran out of cement. That's my fault, because I didn't double check. I came to drop mixer off earlier this week, and I didn't check if there were enough cement. I just presumed the walk, because I saw loads there before. So we're off to Travis Perkins now, grab a five bags of cement, head back to Johnny's, drop them off for Colin Portman to crack on. And then we're going to go to Bathroom Depot in Leeds, to get some tiles for the kitchen floor. Uh, we're gonna go and have a look at the gaff. We're nearly done there. It's exciting now, it's literally the last two weeks. Radiators are finishing, getting fit tomorrow. We've got carpets get going put down next week. So then literally, it's just furniture now when we're in. So it's exciting times, exciting times. We've had a few comments on YouTube about um, future contracts coming up for JDN Brickwork. Now there is 
there's a stuck few little small stuff in the pipeline because we've scaled right down and I'm, I'm not going to get into ins and outs of this but um, I've now got a team of people at JD and Brickwork. There's only a small a small group of us now who are all on the same page. We all know exactly what we want. We all know what's expected of us. We've all got a certain standard and we're just going to go for it and I'm going to build off that now. So I've got a small team of people that we're going to be doing the smaller jobs such as extensions. We've got a couple of extensions to throw the brick shell up on and there's a small seven plot that's a definite maybe starting later on this year and there's one more exciting exciting job um, that I can't say too much about yet because that's not been finalized but if we do get that wow you guys are gonna love that so that's in the pipeline as well for future work um, but it's just gonna be me shady silky my gang there's Colin Lee that are looking after Cass and that for me right now I'm happy with so that's where we're going that's what we're gonna build off and they're the people that I'm gonna be taking on to these jobs if we grow I don't know, if, if more stuff comes in um, where I do need to be hiring people, I'm not going to make the same mistakes that I have done this year where I'm just bringing strangers in left, right and centre to do to do stuff. Having to keep a close eye on people that I ain't got time to do. Um, I'm not micromanaging anything. I've got the lads there that I know they can do the job. And that's it, we're going to build off that and we're going to go for it. So, new goals, new directions, new visions. Um, so yeah, and it's all going to be documented on this YouTube channel. Say no more, my dude. Say nada. I had to get that out, bro. I don't know why, <laughs> where that came from, but I fucking had to get it out. Let's go. Bag number six, come on. Waiting for my man to come up with a book. He's gonna write a little note. I'm gonna take it into Travis, pay for these bags of cement. Head back and get these to the lads. What's this new van you are saying? Oh, do you like it? Let me show it up, man. Apologies, apologies. Yeah, we've got some new new stickers on. Here, look at these. I've got some go faster stripes. Actually, <laughs> got super fast. Who's done this then? Yeah, it's nice. Lee Johnston signage in class. Big up. Yeah. It does a nice couple of designs. I chose my favourite one and we went with this one. It's got the colours going up all the sides. Nice and simple but classy with the looks and the colours and everything like that. That I would like to be grey but it looks a lot better with the grey background and the white. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And the logo. It just really brought it out and you can see it from a mile off. And it's nice to have some on back. Right, what we got on back? Let's have a look. The first time it was stickered up, um, I had just that. On the back, but then I got a dent in it and we had to scrape it off to sort the um, bodywork out and it didn't. Um, I never got around to getting it back on, so I got it all done. And look at this. Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick, innit? I don't notice what. Yeah, bad boy. Do you want something from Greg's? I can't hear you. Do you want oak from Greg's? I have no idea what the fuck you're saying, can you hear me? Botman, can you hear me? I can now. Do you want out from Greg's? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just get, us, just get us some up from Greg's, just get some food from Greg's and that first. What do you want? Oh, we'll eat all those. <laughs> Carl, what do you want from Greg's? <laughs> out to eat. The couple says yours, Carl says. Sounds, I'll do. I'll see you in a bit. And a, and a coffee, he says. What all right, see you in a bit. Oh, first home game today in 18 months, it's Leeds v Everton, Ben the camera guy is going, Ben's predicted 2-0 Leeds, uh, we'll see what his prediction looks like when this video drops, because by the time it does come out, we'll know the result. Cooper and Strauch and Rafinha! Ben's got his jumper on in support, he's going with 10 lads, looking for a packed out Ellen Road today. Get behind the boys, first home game in 18 months. Come to get some kitchen floor tiles they've been paid for, but they were like two and a half weeks ago when I paid for them, I had a chance to come and get them. Now there's a bit of confusion as to what tiles they are and which order's mine. <laughs> Rightly so, I don't know the name of Tyler Oak, so let's hope they can find them.
Me again. <laughs> He's here. How you doing? We're all right. All right. YouTube. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Not crying much, not like that. Thirty packs, yeah. What, 30 packs of tails? 30 packs of tails. Let's go. Jesus. Can I help him move them? Uh, I'll just rip to the mud. All them in there. I might just go for it. It was Terry. Funny dad. Is it, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it works here. That's why we've got the tiles from here. Oh, yeah, a bit of discount, yeah? Uh, a bit of discount, <laughs> but you get Terry's discount and then Terry will, Terry will get his discount back off us. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm only joking. Nice no, looked after us, Terry. He's done all the bathrooms, kitchen floor, and everything. We've got Put all, his hand bad, we've got all gear from here. So you yeah. what? Cut his hand bad. I think it's enough to his hand. Corner of the back, and it block. Terry been in walls, yeah. Terry in the walls. You know, they're that heavy. Well heavy. <laughs> okay. You don't mind being on camera, do you, boss? Oh, it's outside anyway, so it You haven't got a choice. I think I'm going to get them all in me. <laughs> Come on, Ben. <laughs> Take that camera down. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nigel, my friend. See you later on. See you, mate. Quite a nice one, mate. Yeah, very nice. He's a nice chap. Very friendly chap. Have you met him before? Or? Yeah, I've met him. Oh shit, I'm trying to set off without starting the engine. Yeah, I've been. Every time I come here, I usually deal with him to see his sound. He looks after Terry, ultimately looking after us. So, if you're in and around Leeds, Yorkshire, out like that, and you need some tiles, get down to Bathroom Depot. We're at the gaff. Had some challenges on here over the past couple of weeks, getting let down and whatnot. Um, but that's construction. Sadly, I'm used to it. Sadly, it happens. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we should have had the scaffold up by now, and the render should have been halfway done. But um, four scaffolders later, I finally got someone booked in. Hope they turn up on next Wednesday, and that means the renderer can get going on a week on Monday. So a week tomorrow, the render should be starting. Grab man coming tomorrow. Get rid of all this. And we're not going to show you too much of inside because we are very close to completion. There's a few bits of snagging, a few little bits of decorating uh, and what have you and some little bits of finishing off to do. So the next time you come, we should, should, providing we don't get let down by anyone else, um, be there or thereabouts. So we're just going to unload the tiles now, uh, get them into the kitchen ready for Courtney's dad to attack next weekend. And then we're going to head off and get some nice food. I didn't expect to see this guy on this today, to be honest with you. I'm quite gobsmacked. Wow. Have you done, yeah? Well, there we go. So, this garden, man. Fucking mad. Yeah, the garden. So, when you came and you saw that drainage being done a couple of weeks ago, I had that machine for another week because I got it for like a minimum hire of a week. So, instead of having it sat there doing that, got driver in for the week after and he just leveled this out for us so he's leveled it at this level so we can come out level with the uh, kitchen and then stepped it up to another level up there where we're gonna have some steps and then I'm gonna have like a fence up there some steps that goes into the garden and just gonna maintain that bit but this is gonna be like um, feeling like a patio like I said I said when was it now we were up in that we we're up in that bush up there yeah and I said I'm going to have some Yorkshire stone, Indian stone or whatever stone and something like that. So this is, you can see more of an idea now of what it's actually going to look like. Now it's all levelled out, but this was a right job, man. Yeah, yeah. you've done a right bit of work right on that. Right job, there's some muck come out of here. Yeah. We've had like five grab loads. Each of them grabs carry 16 tonne. So what's that? 50, another six, five, 80 tonne. It's come nice. out the back of here. Is that what all dirt in front garden is? That's, well, a bit of it. <laughs> That's what's left over. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What have you been so doing as, he, as he, were, he were digging it out and tracking it around to the front, a grab load would come in, picking it up and taking it away. Yeah. So he'd take some more around, grab would come, pick it up, take it away. So that's probably like two more loads to go in there. So yeah, that's the garden. I've put a lot more money into this than I would have liked to do because like I said in episode one, when I first got this property, it were as an investment purely to just flip and make a quick bit of money. 
But the more I got on with it and the more I got going, I realised it's not quick. It don't take like it don't take six to eight weeks like you see on these property courses and what have you. It takes a lot longer and then when I the more and more I did come I did really want to make it my own. So we're gonna live here for like five years but I've still made it into like a proper like a deal. It's still structured like a deal where I'm making money because how the market's gone over the past year or so since all this COVID and that it's proper boomed. It's like the value of this house is an extra 20, 30k than what I would have expected it to be when I bought it, like the end value. So I can still refinance that, keep this property as my own and pull them pull the money out that would have been profit if I sold it. So I'm going through that process now of refinancing now that the refurbishment is nearly complete and as soon as I um, pull that cash out I'll be reinvesting straight into another one. If you want to get involved we are opening up a property company um, in the coming weeks, probably the coming months, maybe like early next year. So if you want to get involved in some of our projects with a total hands-off investment um, let me know. My email address is below in the description. Send me an email. You can get involved anywhere you want if you've got any property to sell, if you want to get involved in property or if you want to invest with us with a hands-off investment where I do the work, you put your money to work. Uh, send me an email. We can talk about that. And just in time, the phone rings. Yes, Courtney? You know, when I saw renovations being done in the past, I've seen people get them kind of um, extractor fans. Yeah. Didn't have a scooby what they were. I've seen them in a few kitchens. <laughs> I was like, what is that? And then we went to go choose our kitchen and they showed us options for extractor fans on that one there. And I thought, oh, no way, that looks kind of cool and that must be what it's for. So, yeah, they're essential have, extractor fans. I'm going to have one myself. <laughs> you are? They're essential, man. Yeah, yeah, I just, I thought, I just imagined them to be them, like, chimney looking things, but now I know that they're them. Oh, that black thing there? Yeah, that. It looks like a screen now, doesn't it? Well, yeah, it does. Man, don't look like that. Why does it work? No idea. <laughs> no idea. Uh, Does it turn on? One. All right. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. when you cook your food, it catches all the steam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. Look at that. It's like a turbo fan. It's like a Dyson. There we go. That's what That's mine looks like. One. Better take that. How's that? It's gonna take off. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be covered in fingerprints there. Oh, oh what? It's even got a light. Space gadgets. This is the return of the space gadget. Turbo turbo tractor fan and a light. Oh, oh, hey. out, lad. I don't even turn it off. There we go. <laughs> so now I know what one of them is, and I've got one missing. Blades. One. Hi, hi, hi. All right, I'm just after one of these blades, please. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much. See you later. Nice. Got my blade. Also got a new subscriber. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> yeah, subscribe. <laughs> what about these blades, Colin? This is for the still saw because yesterday I tried to cut a brick with the still saw and because it's worn down that much. It didn't even go through. Started making sparks and all that shit. So I thought it's time for a new blade. This should help me tomorrow cut some bricks. Because tomorrow I've got to start the wall off on a footing that's a bit like that. So I've got my first course is going to have to be a few cuts. So this is essential for them kind of jobs. So, new blade. Back in the van. And off we go. Time for, oh wow, I'm well excited for this food. Wait until you see this that we're about to eat. You tell me what it, what it is. It's a Turkish kebab shop. A few years ago when I did my apprenticeship in Albeck in Leeds, uh, right behind the building site that it was on was a supermarket that had all these ethnic world foods and what have you. And in the back there was a restaurant called Venus. Um, and they'd sell like sit, sit down meals, but like a, like a kebab, like a proper mixed chicken, lamb, beef, kebab. Hope you want all off a um, twister, twisty thing, whatever you call it. Proper meat, proper juicy, beautiful place. I haven't been there for absolutely ages, and me and Ben have drove past it today. And we've been thinking of somewhere funky to get some dinner. And I said straight away, that is the spot that we're going to for dinner. So that's where we're off. We're going to enjoy it and we're going to show you it. Can't wait. Summer. Welcome to Britain in August. It's been summer, man. It's the middle of August. Let's get it, champ. 
Here we are, Venus Supermarket and Takeaway Cafe. Benjamin, you're not going to know what's it, you my lad. I have never known of or seen this in my life. It's in Leeds. Mixed kebab with extra chips. I might even have a, a cheeky tiger as well. Extra chips, yeah. Yeah. Got to get, got to get 75 hours fucking man, you know what I mean? Don't be that hard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, what we should do is get, get, like, get like an extra portion of chips for us to share because the chip portions are dirty, but the, the main meal is bad. Get me right, I've yep. the chips. Bro, don't get, don't get the extra chips and you'll wish that you did because you get about three chips. Oh, is it, yeah? Yeah. Say no more, get me the same thing as you want. <laughs> do the yeah. Put some music in your glass. Here we go. What a funny place. Cool, isn't it? I'm looking at my phone on the way in, so I don't actually know where we are. Good, Good yeah. Amazing. I've when, changed one bit. When did you last come here? A while ago. Yeah. About two and a half years ago. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Buzzing. I'm pretty buzzing to be eating this, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Finish the day, Venus, not the planet, the cafe and restaurant. We started off at Johnny's, we've done a bit, you've seen me doing a little bit there. Colin and Portman have finished, they've got the retaining wall all done. Just in time for the weather, it looks like clouds have decided to open up for us. So, my day's done, Ben's day's done, he's off to enjoy himself at Leeds game. Aren't you, Ben? Yep. Yeah, man. They're going to be Everton today. Uh, we've got some kitchen floor tiles, my mum's still at ours painting, that's where I'm going now with the other batch of tiles. And that's it, that's today, that's Saturday done. The next time's going to be a weekday, so you're going to see some more progress on site. We're going to hopefully hit rain and, and cast, so stick with us for that one. Keep liking, keep commenting, keep subscribing, tell your mates, tell your mum, tell your sister, tell your nan. Keep telling everyone about us, because we're not going anywhere. We're going to keep this going, we're going to see where we can take it. Thank you all guys for all the support so far, keep it coming in. Let us!